Alrighty, what's going on you fam? Ryudin here. So, like I said a couple days ago, we're going to take a look at good old Vegeta here on a more offensive role. Uh, not only is he a fan, uh, fantastic support, but it looks like he has the ability to be a strong offensive unit should you need it. I mean, when he shows up, 60% damage inflicted, big thumbs up. But what's even better is he can get up to 100% with very little work needed three timer counts is not long at all i mean you just have a little bit of a stalemate with your opponent and that's a lot of damage you can get this guy up to 120 percent should you need it i think he's going to do quite a bit of work and his stats are not bad at red two i will continue to dump multi z power into the homie here until we get him as strong as possible because i love everything that he does he is a fantastic unit being able to go type neutral is the cherry on top so I'm going to use him alongside the support Goku and obviously Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta because they are fantastic supports with the sub count reducing capabilities and I think overall they will feed in so much damage inflicted for Yellow Vegeta that we're going to see him do impressive numbers. Now real quick in terms of his equipment I made it a comfortable amount of both strike and blast because he's not really specializing in one thing. All his damage inflicted buffs are for both so try to buff up both as much as we can. But enough about that, let's jump into some PvP, but real quick, before we do, don't forget to check out the second channel. Every single person that has gone over there has said, oh my goodness, I really enjoy this. Almost prefer it over the main channel, which is a huge bit of assurance for me because it means you guys enjoy the content, not just for what I'm playing, but for me as the content creator. And that means a lot because I can comfortably go into different avenues. And it means that you guys will enjoy it. That means a lot. Thank you so much. And uh, hopefully you guys go and check it out. All right, match number one, going up against a regen team. Very complete, very strong looking regen team. I don't really know who he would start with. A lot of regen opponents like to start out with the Fat Boo because you're forced to use a Blast Guard as the first thing. And they immediately come in with a tackle and your Blast Guard won't get them. In well, actually, no, it does get them in time. What am I doing? I should just do that instead. All right, let's see. Does he start with Boo? No, he doesn't. Interesting. Let's go with the Blast. Oh, no, he had a blue card. Ouch. That's a lot of damage, Chief. Gotcha. All right, now we got to deal with Fat Boo. But thankfully, his little Strike Card lock-in is not as long as I would think. Cool. Decent damage as well. Why on earth did we lag all of a sudden? Gonna hold on to that green card for the boy. Ooh, you better switch. Alright, we're gonna have to sidestep after this. Let's press the main. Why on earth did it take us so long to do that? Crap. We'll take a little bit of damage. I'm scared that he has a Rising Rush already. He probably does after that main. Oh boy. You have no Vanish, so I'm not too worried about this. <clears throat> Let's do some solid damage here. We've been here for quite a while now. Look at that. That's a Zenkai 7 Boo showing up with good old sustained damage cut. Caught you in the sidestep. Let me get this damage buff. Get rid of your first life as well. So Vegeta, man. He can do in work. Although it takes a little bit of effort winding him up there. Alright, I can thankfully reduce sub counts again should he come for a tackle. And I can stop time. I didn't hear him sidestep. But we got him first. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. We're gonna go straight for the blue. Phew. That's awesome. Go for another. Oh, he caught me in the sidestep. Oh, Vegeta, come on, can you live? You can't kill me, only I can kill me. Isn't that a drop? Go for taps. Go for taps, go for taps, go for taps, tap, tap, tap. Woo. Vegeta, man, sometimes. Sometimes you get me scoop, scooped, spooked. What is going on? Why are we lagging? Hello? Ah, oh, I always hate it when you lag at like key moments like that. That would have been an important moment. What on earth is this? Now we're lagging again? 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get rid of him. Alright, Chunky's out the way. Now I gotta deal with... Taps. One more. Go right away. This is fine, this is fine. We'll be fine. Purple Vegeta as well as Yellow Vegeta will be able to handle this. We can do this. God damn, he has card draw speed. Come on, let's kill those. Can I move? I'm trying to go for taps. Gotcha. Alright, solid, solid, solid. Goodbye, Cell. Gonna go straight for the blue. It's probably gonna eat the hit. Yep, that's fine. Let's reduce up counts a bit here. Gotcha. And Vegeta, go finish this one out. Let's go. Alright, next man's going up against another regen team. Maybe this time he's going to start out with the Fat Boo to lock in our strike cards. Um, although, starting with DKP is not new either, so I'll keep starting out with the homie over there. Alright, let's see. Does he start with... Yeah, DKP. Let's back up. Go for one tap. You may tackle, but I'll go straight for the blast. I don't really... Oh, wow, he switched. That's a big risk to take. You would have taken extra damage for no real gain, right? Especially with uh, Fat Boo pretty much healing all the minuscule amounts of damage I would have done. Well, that sucks. Let's go ahead and reduce some of your key. And as we take a couple of hits, he's reducing sub counts. It's great. Thank you. I'd like to move up now. No! Oh my goodness, man. The lag is definitely something else. Alright, well, we'll continue swapping out. Being able to do this is huge. We'll do that. Reduce up counts again. Go for taps, go for taps, go for taps. Go for a blast card. Why did he not finish the tap attack? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Today has just been the worst. He hasn't been, he didn't finish the tap attack. He kept tapping the screen. I know I sound ridiculous and I'm full of excuses right now, but I'm telling you right now that it's getting very frustrating when nothing is happening despite me wanting it to. Let's do this. All right, Mr. Yellow Vegeta. Let's get that damage you deserve to do. I'm staying in here for a little bit for a reason. God damn it, Zamasu. Gotcha. Let's go with this. I'm gonna go strike. I need those two blast cards for this. Yeah, take him out. Get revenge. Yeah. Alright, good. He's out. He didn't heal. If we failed this and he healed the percentage of the damage that we dealt, he'd probably go back to like full health. <laughs> Why that takes so long? Okay, that's fine. Go to you. Is the homie always gonna go for tap attacks? Ooh, you're gonna be tap attacks away from death. Let me do this real quick. Crap. Let's go ahead and reduce his key with this. That reduction of key is huge. And look at that sub count reduction as well. He's honestly so damn good, this Vegeta. I'm gonna go with the tackle. There we go. Oh, I wish we had more cards, man. Alright, thank you for the 50 key, my friend. Let's go with this. This is not going to kill, but it should do a healthy amount of damage. I'm just going to fire this off immediately. Alright. Let's it for the next one. Alright, next match going up against a Saiyan team. Very, very good looking Saiyan team. God, Vegeta is going to be a huge pain in the butt. But I think <clears throat> we should be fine for this. Let's start with the uh, support Goku. Alright, here we go. Starts with 
The Majin Vegeta. I'm surprised he brought him instead of Namikoku. I'm gonna hold on to the green card for Vegeta. Nice. Let me do this to get some extra cards here. Go to you. That's fine. Please just don't have a blue card. Come on. There we go. Go to you now. Let's bring the homie back. Oh, Super Saiyan 3 might be dead. I don't think he's going to be able to save him. Oof, that is beautiful. Well, not to the homie, but just the fact that he did so much. That wasn't good. I will take this damage. Okay, never mind, I won't. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Forget that. Tank a little bit here. We should be fine. We do have a team heal in the form of an ultimate that we could bank on, should we need it. I think he has a rush. Ooh, I'm not trusting this. I know you, Masha Vegeta. You and your pesky, pesky blast armor. Oh, don't have a green card, damn it. I knew it. I knew it. Always green cards. Let's reduce his key. I'll take a little bit of damage and then I'll swap out once. Oh, well played. He got me. That was a 10 out of 10 play. Go to you. That's fine. We'll take the rush. We'll get some heals. Just, well, just for the yellow Vegeta. I think his HP buff is for Vegeta family. <clears throat> Alright, this all works out for me. I really didn't use your main yet? Alright, let's get that type neutral. Look at this damage, man. It's crazy. Apparently, I already used his main. Another green! I completely forgot I used Vegeta's main, so I just done goof supremely. Of the highest degree of screw up. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use his blue card. Sustained damage cut. That blue card will not finish me, which is the best part about this. I'm gonna have to get a rush on him. Whew, that's a lot of damage though. Go for this. Gotcha. Alright, so far so good. It's not going to be as easy as I think, though. No. Whew. Bad timing. Go right away. Where did my tap attack go? This is fine, just for the love of God, do not have another damn green card. Alright, Vegeta, come on. Oh, we got this. That damage inflicted buff at the end. Just the last little bit of damage inflicted we needed. Let's ship it for the next one. Alright, next match going up against some androids. Okay, here we go. No yellow. Fantastic. We'll start with the purple Vegeta then. Alright, here we go. Starts with the blue 21 to nobody's surprise. Alright, sweet. Okay, so far so good. Go to you, because I think he wants to go to red cell at some point. And if he doesn't... That's no big deal. Give me some additional... Oh, sub count reduction. I'll take it. Always the second one. <laughs> Let's kill your key. He'll go to sell and then gain key, so I'll have to leave. Oh. Look at that. No damage at all. Damn it. Got a little PV in there. We can bring the blue Goku. What's the plan, Cell? He has a blue card ready. Goodbye, Red. That should be the first life. Three mil. Jeez. Sport Goku is showing that he doesn't care. Do you gotta be careful about Blast Armor on his blue? Gotcha. This is it perfect? Because we know for a fact that he's gonna want to go to... Purple 21. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this and be type neutral because Cell may show up soon. Go for this. Oh, no Cell. Okay. Got you in the sidestep. Cell should be done in one hit with this. 
This is, uh, Cell doesn't exactly tank very well. And I'll hold on to the green card to reduce some sub counts. Go to Purple Vegeta now. Damn, he waited a long time. Holy crap. If he kills Purple Vegeta, that's fine. I don't think he has his Vanish anymore, so Yellow Vegeta will be able to take care of him. Her. Yep, that's fine. Maybe I should have brought Yellow Vegeta to tank that to see how well his defenses are, but I didn't want to risk it. You never really know. Oh, we guessed it. That's the big yikes. That is a big yikes for sure. Drop the Moab. Phew. All right, let's jump in for one or two more fights. All right, next match going up against uh, Andrew's team. Oh crap, Zenkai 718 with no reds. It's just a recipe for disaster. All right, here we go. 18 to start. Well, that's not good for us. Not good for us at all. Hold on to that green card. Good to you. Do this. Please give me a strike card. Yeah, I needed a strike card just to mean. Whoa, she just zoomed out of nowhere. We need time. And time we were given. Oh, yeah. That's some solid damage. Go to Scouter. Scouter Vegeta. What, what is my brain saying? Oh, no, we didn't draw another card. Oh, God. This is going to be painful. If I'm not careful, it'll be super painful. And he seems to have nothing but green cards, which is nice. Alright, so far so good. Let me go to you. Kefla. Caught him in the sidestep. I gotta go straight for this, because if I went for a blast card, he would just punch through the blast armor, which is a feels bad moment for sure. Please get me out of here. Oh no! This is a big yikes. Okay, we got lucky, but most of the time, when I'm in this situation, my opponent always gets the rush first. Makes no sense, even though we have the combo held for much longer, they always get the rush first. I need to force him to switch out of her. Nope. Go to you. My hope is that he goes for a tackle. Is he backing up? Yeah, he's backing up. It's like Spongebob with the rock. That, I mean, the, the Krusty Krab pizza episode. He's backing up. He's going for a rush, isn't he? Is that a rush? Woo! Alright, you're out. Everything is just, is this a rush panic? There it is. This poor guy got nothing but green cards this whole time. All I've seen him do is use green cards. And we guess is rush. This is uh this is a big yikes. All right, next match going up against androids. All these android teams. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. I'm starting to think that Android 18 is actually far worse than Gohan. For Gohan, what's make what makes him really scary is his last stand buffs. Just the way that he's able to be type neutral and able to just get such a massive power up. But that could be stripped away from him. Most of his buffs can be taken away by, say, one Vegito Blue green card. But for Android 18, you are severely punished for playing defensive. She is a one combo machine. Man, is she painful to deal with. All right, here we go. Please don't start with her. Okay, good. Okay, so far, so good. I just need to power up everybody. Blue Goku. Look at this. We had a powered up combo and we barely did anything to her. 
Green card, please. Please do not be a tackle. Okay, good. Is that a tackle? What is that? Green card, green card. Yep. Let's back up. Oh god, see? Look, we switched a million times. He has to die. I can't do anything about this now. Actually, I can in the form of reducing all her key. Look at that. Even with sub count reduction, I mean a damage reduction, normally I'd be severely screwed. Woo! Normally I'd be screwed, but uh, I got lucky because we have sub count reduction passives. I mean, and main abilities. So we got lucky. Another reason why it's so damn good. That could have played so much better. I want him to bring out 18. Go. I hope he doesn't realize we have another blue card after the one that we just used. But look at the damage. Look at the buffs going live. Android uh, 21 at Zenkai 7 is no joke. Sustained damage cut and like 190k in defenses. She's a beast. And yet we shredded her. Crap. This isn't good. Oh, he went immediately with this. That makes sense. Because now he has type advantage over purple Vegeta and yellow Vegeta he has type advantage over. So we gotta be careful. Wow, we got lucky. We got stupidly lucky there. Do this. Have a straight card, please, so I can use this to buff up purple Vegeta. Look at that. That extra key, man. Game changing. We gotta win this class. She can easily one combo us all to death. Yep, it's about to happen. We are about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get annihilated. All he needs is one PV on me and I'm dead. Alright, gotta play this one right. Woo! 50 key, let's go! One last fight. Alright, I'm gonna let this be the final match of the video going up against a very strong Hybrid Saiyans team. So I'm sure you guys have seen this more than enough. Uh, so many videos on this guy just because he does everything so damn well. You're, in, you're stuck in a pickle, you need to get some sub counts down. Main ability, you need this guy to maintain type neutral so that you're not in a tricky situation where your opponent has a red. What? Guess what? You can go type neutral. What's that? You're, you're, you don't want this guy to get killed and you have a death buff giving you that you want to take a rising rush instead. Well, when he gets hit, he reduces sub counts. He gives 50 keys so you can chain combos and the cherry on top is if you need someone to put in a little bit of work, he is able to do the damage as well. Overall, so damn happy with the unit. I love this unit. All right, here we go. Uh, Future Gohan? Yes, Future Gohan. Oh my god, he went right away. Oh no, what do I do? I gotta leave. So we leave. Thank you for the little buffs that you're getting me. Gotcha. Down to switch to green trunks, sure. Now I gotta anticipate future Gohan showing up. And we did. Two cards. Beautiful. Go to you. I'm gonna do this because I know Gohan is an absolute mad lad monster and he's able to get his hands on his ridiculous ult quite early. Let's go for this. Damage is damage, guys. It's everywhere. Look at this beautiful damage. Caught you in the side step, so give me that buff, please. No more dangerous Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Goodbye. But that's not to say Future Gohan is not a monster himself. I use his main ability on the small brain play. He may go for the rush or an ult, but that's okay. Go for the rush, why not? Give me some buffs. Alright, uh, future Gohan, what can you do here? I gotta be careful of his main ability. I don't want Blast Armor coming through and beating the crap out of my team. Let's back up. The timing couldn't be any better. 
Now it's just green trunks. You and I, green trunks. All right, there you go. Vegeta beating the crap out of his son. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. On a technical level, he's just out there. I think he does an amazing job for the whole team. For me personally, I think he's going to be a staple for Sans, And I will continue to buff up the homie because he's an awesome unit for sure. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace.